Hey, I'm Dr. Shannon South. I'm an award-winning therapist, a best-selling author, and an international teacher and trainer. I'm so happy that you're here today. We're going to talk about the fear trap, how overwhelm, fear, panic, anxiety get in your way of success and joy. Because who wants that? We all want success and joy. And so we will find out how fear gets in your way. Also, I'm passionate about helping people live a life of 200%. That's 100% inner fulfillment and 100% out of success. So if you're interested in this, stick with me and we're going to find out how to navigate this fear. So one of the number one ways I've noticed that fear gets in our way, what if thinking? What if thinking? So think about how you're thinking about your business, your life, your relationships. Do you get into worry and what if, what if, what if? If so, you're dealing with fear. And so what if thinking, what if this happens, what if that happens, what if this, what if that, takes up a lot of our energy. It absorbs our, a lot of rent in our mind and it takes up a lot of energy in our heart. It actually even increases inflammation in the body because it stresses the system out. It's like we're scaring ourselves into what if, what if, what if. And so take a moment with me right now if you are in what if thinking and just notice what would be a different kind of thinking instead of what if, what if, what if. So you could be thinking like this. I trust life. I trust my process. I am safe now. I am truly loved. I make loving decisions that are good for me and good for my business. These are some of the ways that we could be thinking instead of what if, what if, what if. But the problem is sometimes we're saying these things and they're not getting in because we have some old traumas that are in our way. You know, I always say this to my clients when, it, when dealing with fear. You know, when we have fear running the show, it looks like this. <laughs> we can't really see the truth of what's going on. We're stuck in the past. And as we heal our fear, we begin to see life, our business, what's in front of us for what it truly is. And so we need to find out those deeper wounds so that we can heal the fear. So if we're stuck in fear or we're having a lot of what if worrying and thinking, it usually comes from some kind of old trauma. And so finding out what that is, finding out what you needed then that you still need today, and maybe that was safety, maybe that was protection, maybe that was nurturing, and give that to yourself that will help you heal this fear. And it's a very, very powerful way to find that puzzle piece and free you up so that you don't have to feel this fear anymore. A second way that I see fear getting in the way of people's success and joy, constriction. We get so constricted. And what do I mean by this? So we get shut down. We kind of get caught in fear. We get frozen. Or maybe we're in fight mode. We're angry a lot and, and defensive. Or maybe we're running and avoiding things because we're so afraid to face them. But this constriction, what happens in this constriction is it literally, literally gets us stuck. We can't move forward into our expansion. When we are into expansion, we're more relaxed, we're more loving, our heart is more open, we're more creative, we have more joy. You know, studies show that joyful people have a slower heartbeat. So the good news for that is as the, we're happier when we have a slower heartbeat. When we're in fear, our heart is sped up. We're sped up. Everything's urgent. We're in this chaos mode. And there's a way out of it. That's what tr the truth is. There's a way out of this fear. So honoring it, knowing where you are, and transforming it so you can move out of this constriction is super, super important finding that nurturing voice that helps you. And if you can't, call a friend who has the nurturing that you need. Learn to soothe your body. If you can calm your body by deep breathing, exercising, slowing down, healing those deeper traumas, if your body can get on board, your mind will follow. And it's a powerful connection that way. So this constriction gets in the way of our business, our lives, our relationships, and we want to learn how to move out of constriction and into the expansion of the love and the joy and the creativity. A third way that fear gets in our way is that we are reacting instead of responding. And so this is one of the largest issues I see with people in my life is that down deep, they're really reacting from an old place as opposed to responding from current time. They're literally stuck in the past. 
And so their reaction is really not updated. And so how do we change this? We update our reaction. We build new circuitry so that we can feel safe, we can feel loved, we can feel trust instead of fear. We can step into abundance and creativity. We can step into the trust of all the support that's out there of who we're becoming. Because we're becoming, we're growing, and this is happening. And as we overcome fear and transform it, we do become our best selves, our best version of ourselves. And with that, it changes the outcome of our business and of our lives and the health of our relationships. And so it's so good for us. It's like this multivitamin for our relationships and for our, all of our business and our lives. So if you notice that fear is in your way by constricting, by all these ways that you what if the world, or reacting, or getting into reactivity instead of responding, then you may be stuck in the fear trap. And so you can check my quiz out if you want to double check this. www.the7survivaltraps.com the fear trap is one of those traps and I know too much about it unfortunately but it's been the best teacher for me because I had an anxiety disorder years ago and I've been able to transform it and overcome it and I can tell you one thing for sure as you are way more powerful than your fear and that's the truth so if you're in this fear trap check out my quiz I'll give you some ways to navigate it ways to transform it some breathing exercises and some ways to be thinking about empowerment versus fear when we are empowered, we're less afraid. And how do we get into empowerment instead of fear and splatter? There's a way. And so I know that you can do this. I want this for you. I want success and joy for you. And this, my friends, is what growth and life is all about. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being interested in living a life of 200%. And I also have an upcoming training coming up. I'm gonna be telling you more about as the weeks come along. So stick with me with these videos and how to transform any blocks that are in your way of success and joy and sending you all my love. Hope you have a beautiful day and that knowing that you can transform fear regardless of where it comes from. Take care. Bye.